Responsive Web Design Responsive design completely changed the web. Before this, companies often built two different websites, one for desktop and a stripped-down version for mobile, usually with an M in the URL like m.facebook.com. Developers had to maintain both sites, which was clunky and inconsistent. As smartphones and tablets exploded in the late 2000s, that approach didn't scale. You couldn't build a new version for every screen size. Responsive design solved this by letting one website automatically adapt to any screen size. Text, images, and layouts flex to fit whether you're on a huge monitor, a laptop, or a phone. The breakthrough came in 2010 when Ethan Marcotte published his article in A List Apart, coining the term. Fluid grids, flexible images, and media queries became the new standard almost overnight. By 2016, mobile browsing overtook desktop. Without responsive design, the web would have fractured into unusable pieces. Today, it's not a trend, but it's the baseline. 